there has been division in the southeast over the recently announced security outfits for the region by their governors named Ibube Agu. The movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra has said that the Southeast Governor's security outfit is not in existence anywhere. But the Igbo National Council said that it preferred the Eastern Security Network floated by the indigenous people of Biafra to be utilized by Ndibo as its regional security outfit as against the Ibubi Agu. Masab leader Uche Namadu said that the statement credited to the group within the week asking Southeast and South South youths to join Ibubi Agu was not from their stable. He linked it to the Biafra independent movement led by Chief Ralph Wazuriki. He said that Masob was open to collaboration with Ibubi Agu if there was actually something on ground and the people were given 100% control of the outfit. So its purported support for Ibubi Agu was neither here nor there. Uche Nambadu said, Masob has never supported Ibubi Agu wholeheartedly. The statement that was credited to Masob was not made by us. It was from people that tried to hijack the same Masob. The Biafra independent movement, of which Wazurike is the leader. They always try to attach the name Masob to their statement, but the whole world knows they are BIM. But what we have said is this Masob will support Ebube Agu if only our people will have 100% control of it not Abuja or Fulani Kabals. And before we support Ibubi Agu, we must discuss, dialogue and reason together because it's not on the pages of newspapers. The Masab leader emphasized that Ibubi Agu was a mere pronouncement by the governors as a quick response to a series of violent activities in, the, in Igbo land, mainly by Fulani headsmen and other criminals. He argued that there was no way a regional security outfit could come to being without involving the stakeholders in the zone. Up to now, as far as I am concerned, the stakeholders the people that matter concerning security matters have not sat to discuss about Ebube Agu. I learned they are planning to sit, during which all the pro Biafra groups will be invited. Uche Namadu described the Eastern Security Network as a child of necessity that could be linked to self defense. We are not against the Eastern Security Network. So far, they have been operating and we are seeing what they are doing. So we don't condemn our own. Some people are against the Eastern Security Network because of the way it was formed or because it has no legal backup. But when a matter is about life and death, Legality or illegality of it is rubbish. You have to secure the lives of our people and their property first before you will be talking if it is legal or illegal. The Eastern Security Network is a kind of self-defense. We have been pushed to the wall. 
And as I'm talking to you, there is another security outfit. The mother of all security outfits from Igbo land. Igbo native security backed up with Igbo nativity is coming on the way. It is still on the ground. I will not talk about it much. That security will take care of everything because many things will be involved in it. Not only arms, not only armed security, many things concerning Ndibo will be involved. It shall be called Ekumeku. The gods will be involved. Our ancestors will be involved. Because we want to eradicate violence and criminality from our land. Because the way the Fulanis are coming, the Fulani are not only operating on their own. We have now found out that the federal government is fully and 100% in support of them. They are being sponsored by the federal government. So we have to apply every source, both spiritual, orthodox, and unorthodox. Everything to make sure that we secure our land, he stated. Meanwhile, National President of the INC Chilos, God sent, has noted that the Eastern Security Network is a pro Igbo Nation Vigilante Security Outfit, which the Ebubeagu, according to him, is anti Igbo, allegedly being sponsored by the Fulani elites. Also, he noted that the Eastern Security Network is guided by principles indigenous to Igbo Nation and self sponsored. The Commissioner for Security for Internal Security and Border Peace, Stanley Okoro Emera, said that governors from the zone have taken steps to make laws back in the outfit, including getting the federal government to fund it. He said, Southeast governors are knowledgeable in law. That is why they have taken measures to back up the outfit with the law. In the Bonyi, we have commenced the process of recruiting young and patriotic Ebonyans into the outfit. However, the elder statesman and senior advocate of Nigeria, Chief Mike Ahamba, aligned with Ebubeagu against the Eastern Security Network because, according to him, the Eastern Security Network is an illegal body. They are undercover and nobody knows actually who formed it. Okay, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Lots of fireworks concerning in the southeast over security outfits. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.